General Sir Ronald Forbes Adam, 2nd Baronet, GCB, DSO, OBE, is remembered as a pioneering figure in the British Army, renowned for his influential role during the tumultuous years of the Second World War. His exceptional leadership as Adjutant General, responsible for the organization and personnel of the Army, left an indelible mark on the British military, transforming its practices and shaping its future. This video delves into the life and contributions of General Sir Ronald Forbes Adam, shedding light on his early years, military service, and the groundbreaking reforms he championed. Early Life and Military Beginnings Ronald Forbes Adam was born on 30 October 1885, in Bombay, India, into a prominent family with a strong connection to British colonial life. His father, Frank Forbes Adam, was a successful merchant and a member of the Bombay Legislative Council. His family's social standing provided him with opportunities and privileges that would later shape his career. Adam's journey into the military began when he attended Eton College, followed by graduation from the Royal Military Academy Woolwich. In 1905, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Royal Field Artillery. His military education and initial postings laid the foundation for a remarkable career. First World War Service When the First World War erupted in 1914, Adams' unit, N Troop, was swiftly deployed to join the British Expeditionary Force in France. Over the course of the war, he demonstrated exemplary leadership and courage. He held various positions, rising in rank and gaining valuable experience on both the Western Front and the Italian Front. His contributions earned him the Distinguished Service Order and the Order of the British Empire. Between the Wars After the First World War, Adams' military career continued to advance. He attended the Staff College, Camberley, in 1920 and served in various staff roles including general staff officer positions at the War Office. Notably, he served as an instructor at the Staff College and even briefly commanded it in 1937. Second World War and Transformative Reforms With the outbreak of the Second World War, Adams' role became even more critical. He was appointed Deputy Chief of the Imperial General Staff, DCIGS, under Field Marshal Lord Gort. In this position, he worked on organizational matters and prepared the army for the challenges of modern warfare. However, it was in June 1941, when he assumed the role of Adjutant General, that Adams' true impact began to take shape. He recognized the need to adapt army practices to accommodate a conscripted force led by non-career officers. His reforms were visionary and far-reaching. 1. Personnel Selection Adam introduced aptitude tests to assess recruits' psychological stability, combatant temperament, technical aptitudes, and leadership potential. These tests replaced traditional interviews and paved the way for more diverse officer recruitment. 2. Corps of Infantry and General Service Corps Although his proposal for a Corps of Infantry faced opposition, Adam successfully created the General Service Corps. This streamlined basic training and specialized training for recruits. 3. Army Bureau of Current Affairs, ABCA. To boost morale and encourage citizen soldiers, Adam championed the ABCA, which produced pamphlets on current events for compulsory discussion groups among troops. 4. Demobilization Reform. Adam implemented a first-in, first-out demobilization system prioritizing soldiers based on age and length of service. This fair approach aimed to avoid the issues faced after the First World War. 5. Officer Selection He revolutionized officer selection by establishing the War Office Selection Board, which included input from psychiatrists and psychologists. This helped identify leadership potential among individuals from diverse backgrounds. Legacy and post-military life General Sir Ronald Forbes Adams' progressive reforms faced resistance, but ultimately contributed significantly to the efficiency and adaptability of the British Army during the Second World War. 
After retiring from the military in 1946, he continued his commitment to education and served in various leadership roles in organizations focused on adult education, psychology, and cultural exchange. Adams' legacy endures as a visionary leader who recognized the need for modernization and diversity within the British Army. His pioneering efforts paved the way for a more inclusive and effective military, leaving an indelible mark on the history of the United Kingdom and its armed forces. General Sir Ronald Forbes Adams' life and career serve as a testament to the power of innovation and progress in shaping the course of history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.